Today we're going to look at operations with radical expressions. The first operation we're going to look at is addition. The first thing we need to understand is that there are something called like radicals and unlike radicals. Like radicals have different coefficients but the same radical. Unlike radicals, coefficients really don't matter. It's just that the radicals are completely different. The values underneath the radical don't match. Pause the video and copy this into your notes. Combining like radicals. We can add or subtract like radicals by adding and subtracting the coefficients of those like radicals and then writing the like radical down. For example, 6 square root 11 plus 9 square root 11. We are going to take the 6 plus the 9 and write the square root of 11. 6 plus 9 is 15. Square root 11 is the final answer. Please take a moment, pause the video, and copy this down in your notes. When subtracting like radicals, we do something very similar. The square root of 3 minus 5 root 3. Note that the coefficient of the square root of 3 is a 1. When we subtract these like radicals, we are going to subtract the coefficients of 1 minus 5 and write our square root of 3. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Root 3 is our final answer. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Take a minute, copy these two problems into your notes. Then, pause the video, work on the problems. When completed, restart the video to see the solution. In both cases, we have like radicals. In 7 root 2 minus 8 root 2, we are combining like radicals by subtracting the coefficients of 7 and 8. 7 minus 8 is negative 1, then we write our, neg our root 2. 5 root 5 plus 2 root 5 are also like radicals. We add those by adding the coefficients of 5 and 2, which results in a 7. And then we write our square root 5. Please pause the video and copy these notes. In the following problem, we see that there are not like radicals. Square root of 3 and square root of 12 are not the same. However, we can use the processes of simplifying radicals that we learned in the previous section to reduce these radicals so we, they might be like radicals. 5 root 3 does not need to be reduced. It's in simplest form. However, square root 12 can be changed to square root 4, square root 3. Since square root of 4 is the biggest perfect square that goes into 12. Also paying attention to the fact that we know we want a square root 3 in the second term. So that way we can subtract them. Square root of 4 is 2. So now we're ready to subtract like terms. We are going to take the 5 minus the 2, write our root 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. Square root 3 is our final answer. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Here are the steps for combining like radicals. 
1. Simplify the radicals. Try to get them to be like radicals. 2. Add or subtract the coefficients of the like radicals. Please pause the video so you may copy these notes.